Now we're joined by Hamish, and Hamish have brought along an old familiar friend. That's right, friend of the show, Mark Harley, who provides us with all the beautiful plants we have on set here. They're growing particularly well, yeah. considering they? they're inside. Good. Yeah, 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 welcome back, Mark. <laughs> you haven't killed them? No. <laughs> no, no, no. So Mark's going to chat to us about something different that he's doing with plants. Okay, what is it that you're doing? Yes, yeah, so we've got a, um, a live art installation that we're bringing with, with plants that are uh, hanging and suspended and, and floating, as it were. So, um, yeah, just we'll come in and talk about that. So, so how did this all sort of come about? Yeah, so uh, we're doing it down at the uh, All Press studio. Right. They have a studio space which they provide to artists to have different exhibitions and things. And um, Land Lab, which is another company, urban uh, landscape design company, approached us with this opportunity to do something kind of different and interesting. Okay, that sounds fascinating, because it sort of sounds to me like you're going to an art gallery, but instead of seeing art, you're seeing plants like art. Yeah, yeah, so no, you know, off the walls and, and off the ground as well. So it's sort of this idea of you know, floating plants just um, an opportunity oh, to, wow. to look at something and, yeah, and, present, oh, well, and present them in a different way. Yeah. Well, there you go. That looks oh, awesome. Look, look, that is beautiful. How is it you do that? How do you hang them and keep them straight? So, yeah, so we just you know, played with, um, you know, worked out a bit of a system for using wires and, and then creating that ball and, and using uh, coffee sacks. So it's a, you know, like a tie-in to all press. And, yeah, from that to, um, to what, we, what we set up. Right, so it's got um, rigging that's fixed into the concrete beams. Yeah, so we've just you know dropped down. A, there's just an eye bolt from the ceiling and, yep. and a, um, a wire cable, and then um, just a system to either balance it. You know, that was getting them to balance and hang. You hang how right. did you get them to hang? What did you fix them to? The ball? Well, the ones with the, the ones that are more like tree likes so yeah. actually they're actually attached to the trunk. Right. And then you know then it's suspended, so the ball is completely. Because you want to keep it plumb, right? Yeah. That would yeah, be. Yeah. That, was that difficult? Yeah. yeah well, I mean, with those ones, it was just getting that balance right, and then the ones that are um, are smaller, where we are actually with the wires are down to the to the sack or the ball, that was just getting getting the balance right and just, just fiddling with it until it looked right. And they all look awesome. So when you have people coming along and seeing this installation, what is it that you want to take from it? What was running through your mind when you were piecing it together? Yeah, well, a couple of things. Because it's in a city environment, you know, even if someone's just walking by on the street looking in the window, just to go, oh, that's interesting, just to kind of catch people. And, um, and then whether they're people are in the cafe or going into the studio, actually spending time. And then, you know, from different angles, you can appreciate it and enjoy it as well. So we've got a picture up on the screen at the moment of sort of the inspiration behind it, isn't it? Yeah, well, um, the Land Lab guys came, with, came to us with some ideas, and this was one of them that they had, and that's from a, um, a shopping centre in Munich. And it's just amazing. And the thing is that, you know, people just love being around nature. So that's mm. kind of the main idea that we were tapping into, you know, that plants and things, yes, we need them for our survival, etc. But actually this idea that just, you know, we're just drawn to have nature around us. So we just kind of wanted to sort of give people the opportunity to stop in the middle of whatever they're up to and kind of notice it and enjoy it. And appreciate it too. And I've noticed, you know, there's a few more modern buildings in New Zealand that are starting to grow the plants on the outside. They're utilising the space around them, bringing them inside. I know this is an exhibition at the moment, but do you think this could take off potentially? Oh, completely. I mean, our, um, our main business is plants in commercial environments. So we see a lot of that and what people want out of their interior environments, you know, you'd know is mm. um, always changing, but and plants are a massive part of that. Something like this where it's, yeah, we're definitely finding that, you know, more creative ways of bringing plants and plantscapes in is, is definitely something that's happening and so, we're so doing a lot of. When is it um, people can go and see this and where was it again? Okay, so this is going to be uh, on the, running from the 10th to the 14th of July. Okay, so that's through so next, school holidays. Yeah, next week. And, um, and it's down at the All Press Studio, which is just behind Victoria Park Market. Nice. And, and what do you love about it? I know it, lo it looks incredible and you put your heart and soul into it with, with your teammates. But what do you love about it? When you finished installing it and you sat back and you looked, what, what was your first thought? Yeah, I mean, I'm terrible at art. So nowhere in my <laughs> wildest dreams did I ever thought I'd be an exhibiting artist. And, and, <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> nice. Well, no, congratulations. I, I guess two people interpret it differently as well. Yeah, what's some of the feedback you've had? Well, that's the thing is, you know, is people look at it and can go, Oh wow, that looks. It looks like each plant is its own planet floating in the cosmos. Um, or wow, you know, it's uprooted. What does that mean? Yeah, so yeah, I, like I suppose that. you know, just it invites all sorts of interpretations. Upside down ones. Really. Yeah, that's how, right. How was so, that to do? It's funny. Yeah. So again, that's um, you know, just a different way of just wrapping it up so it doesn't all fall out on the ground. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Okay, cool. Good work. Thank yeah. you, Hamish. Yeah. It's nice <laughs> to have a bit of art. No, no, it is. And plants. And thank you for the plants around here. You're right, they have survived. I need to get some lessons from yeah. you. Mine die at home. Okay, to see more from Mark and his team, you can go to the website on screen. <laughs>